Ike alongside Black Motion, Kapza, The Smalls, and Nokwazi. It's called uh, Sia Bunga. 9.18 on this fantastic Wednesday morning. My name is Yossi, hanging out with Simi Dre right about now. And uh, we have a special guest all the way from the six. It's not the six guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the end guy. <laughs> no, so how you doing? Bro? I'm good, man. It's how great to have you, you back Thank in the studio. So man. Much, man. It's been a minute, man. What's yeah, been yeah. going on? It's been a long time. Got someone yeah. pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> no, to be honest, no, when you drop no. tonight, there are lots of women that were ready to be impregnated by you. Oh my god! Just saying, just saying. Bro, I, I literally, you know, I, I see the love from the female side, and I just like, you know, right now I am completely overwhelmed by how much I love see. you get. How, how old are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Um, I'm still a baby boy. How old know? are you? I'm old enough. Uh, you're 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 moving moving at the same time, <laughs> you're moving. Yeah, I'm, I'm moving. You're giving me that seventeen and a half vibe. Jeez, I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah, the ones that have this it's hair. the baby boy. You understand okay. uh, the glow, the glow. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it no, but it's great to have you Thank here. You. But you were quiet for a minute. Yes. Yeah. What happened? So, um, you know what? Like, I felt like I needed to take a break to so just like work on music and just like focus on your baby man. focus on myself pretty much because with music like if you're just out there being dragged left and right you know your mind if it's not strong enough you could you could become something else so i just felt like i needed to take a break and um work on myself a bit yeah you know I, i'm getting closer to god getting closer to my family and friends and actually building stronger bonds with oh, people okay now. so let so, me yeah. just piggyback off what you just said you said okay. getting dragged because I think uh, one of the first time um, you performed live was that, you know, your songs were big in Nigeria. Yeah. Was it 2017 now? I believe so. Uh, yeah. yeah. Then yeah. Uh, I saw a lot of comments online about, oh, uh, you know, you sound different from how yeah. you are on stage. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It's like you can't really use it. And it boils down to Nigerians not really understanding the nuances of live performing. Uh, because the artists abroad that sound the same on the microphones, those microphones are auto-tuned. Mm-hmm. Those microphones are top-of-the-line mm-hmm. equipment, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and everything. And, you know, for an artist, you I, you're way younger them yeah, or anything yeah. i think what not a lot of nigerians need to do is that they need to be gracious <laughs> in how they you know come out people or anything yeah so i hope yeah. that didn't really like no you know, no, get no. To you know what stuff. like i i grew up in nigeria like for most of my life i understand like nigeria is a place of tough love man <laughs> they're saying that to you but they truly truly really love you and they really want you to be the best you know a lot of times i do it like ah oh, man but look at banky look at this person's performance like he can't do like this that's what they really want they want everyone to be up there so that's how i kind of took it like okay i get that you know a lot of people might be saying some things that weren't um cool but behind it all like it's all love you know we're all nigerians and we just like want to see each other do a out there in the international stage okay yeah. definitely so now you're back and ready for action yes i'm ready i've done like a lot of performance training so this time do you know the funny thing about like live performances let's be real what percentage of nigerian artists actually perform live so right. anyone we can get like i appreciate it because yeah. it's like a whole new different experience know, yeah. you know what i mean yeah. 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 and most times um you know uh, most artists believe that you know live performances is having to perform their tracks uh you know with the band not mm-hmm. forgetting the fact that if you want to if you if you want to perform live from when you're making the song the song needs, needs to, be to be produced to be performed live mm. because there are a lot of with the way softwares and what have you you know uh you know are bound these days there are some kicks or there are some mm. beats that a live drum can't make yeah, they're synthetic yeah, yeah. so that means you have to produce the song in a way that you know any band can play yeah, it yeah, anybody yeah, can yeah, easily yeah. adopt it so that's why sometimes when you hear some people performing live it sounds weird <laughs> because you know half the beats or anything are yeah. synthetic sounds that yeah. you know a real band can really produce in it yeah, you know and everything yeah. so um in uh, canada where you are mostly based is there a general uptake of nigerian music like they're like growing the, the way it's growing in uh in america right i'll now. say you know what the canadian music scene is very much tied to the American scene. So what really? you hear on the radio is yeah. usually what's uh, top 10 on the, the US side. You know, it's still a growing like market. Like Celine Dion. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Celine Dion. They're, they're definitely like legends in the country yeah, that, that know, they yeah. would always be respected and loved. Yeah. But like most of the time, like what you hear on rotation is basically what's playing what's on What's playing on American radio, yeah, yeah, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, great. You know, for the life of me though, there's this rumor when I was growing up that Celine Dion was Calabar. 
Really? <laughs> <laughs> and you believed it. Selena, oh, okay. You know, Selena. <laughs> think about it, man. Think about it. <laughs> Celine, Selena. I was like, ah, makes sense. Oh my god. Uncle Sunday, man. Yeah, you. and my name is Simi, and my sister is Simone Miles. <laughs> of course. That would make sense. <laughs> so now that you're here now, so yeah. you know what next for you? You still have that big record record deal signed and everything. Yeah. So what should we expect from you in 2022? Um, so yeah, in 2022, um, just a lot of like music coming out. Um, one artist that I really just like the way he's handled his own kind of move is Burner Boy. Even down to his live performances, I feel like he's completely just amazing all around. And I remember the year where he dropped like Yay, On The Low, Bono, like it was just back to back to back. And just following that kind of, um, um, you know, method where you just keep in a comment. Uh, that's what I want to do this year. Yeah. So, so is there going to be like an EP album? Something all the good like stuff. Some, which Something one? Like which that. one? Which one? One like that. One like that. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you won't even tell us which one. Um, okay, so I'm working on a project, okay. a full length project, but uh, it's it's still very early. But yeah, hopefully this year I'm gonna drop it. Yeah. All right. Do you have ideas for features? Yet? That's what I was gonna ask you. Like, who do you think it would be a nice feature to have on this project? No, um, so Amadi and. <laughs> well, I think you should explore. You know the limits of your explore the limits of your artistry. Right. Uh, you know, try to look at artists like Buju. Right, a one day call. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. Buju one day call. Lo J. Ooh, uh, let me see. Buju one day call. You're only Lo naming J. guys. Or? Well, they're <laughs> females. <laughs> females, you put a Thames on there. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you should also put a Simi on there. Ooh. You know, if you can get, if you can get Yemi, Yemi on there as well. Yeah, I did yeah. a song with Simi on my last project. Okay, yeah. yeah. You put a Yemi Aladi on yeah. there as well. If you put a Tiwa on there as well. Tiwa. And then uh, you know, just just good girl, that lady, that's pretty. There are a bunch of talented it's, people. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah. you know, here in Nigeria. So depends on where you want to actually take the project or what's the thrust of the project yeah. actually yeah. would actually determine you know the kind of collaborations that you have on them. yeah that mm-hmm. makes sense yeah. definitely yeah. definitely so can i just say like okay so back then you know when you dropped you know um tonight and became such a huge huge song i mean like this is what we all dream of we all dream for of the fame the success this is yeah. why we're in the industry do you know what i mean but when it actually happened mm-hmm. how were you able like were you overwhelmed definitely. Were you, yeah, yeah. I mean, t- talk us through that process um you, you know i actually intend to do like um like a long interview where i just like talk through everything from then until now and where i'm at right now but um at the time it was like um i was still i was fresh off school literally i just graduated and that was when like tonight <laughs> was happening so it was like and tonight radio with jules and malik berry all those songs um so it was more like for me just like transitioning from the academic field to becoming an entertainer where you just had to be entertaining where two four seven wherever you are you know and it was like just even socializing was hard you know meeting people and you know genuinely connecting with them was pretty hard for me but um i had to learn with time there were so many ups and downs but yeah right now i'm just like that's why i had to take that break and just figure out exactly how i want this to go for me and yeah think that's where i'm at right now yeah. all right <laughs> that's where you're uh, at so you have a brand new song that you'll be dropping tomorrow right yes, but yes. we because we're the beat night 9.9 fm we'll be premiering it exclusively Jeez. today yeah. tell us about this song okay so um, this song is called foreigner and um over the course of the break i had been working on different songs With foreigners yeah <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it, was just, it was just me actually there was no yeah. foreigner on this yeah. but um it was like me working on different songs and this song um talks about me being away it talks about love interest and the beat is um also something that people could groove to i felt like it just had um all the elements i wanted you know people can vibe to it but there's still deep lyrics in it so um yeah i felt like this was the best way to re-enter the scene okay yeah. okay yeah. great so we're about to play right now so yeah. he's always yeah. a vibe talking with you uh you yeah. know every time every so time, yeah. i know that you're fully back in nigeria so we're expecting you know the album to drop and you know a bunch of other yeah. stuff from you as well yeah man no yes. problem 9 27 on a fantastic wednesday morning yes non the brand new music never been heard before world premiere uh where's my uh, you see, I, I, I i'm missing my bell right now yes non he calls this foreign enjoy Yo, yo, what's up, people? This is Nonto Amadi, and you're listening to